The way to San Cristobal de las Casas was amazing. The town of 185,000 people is situated in the middle of the mountains in the state of Chiapas. I was absolutely in awe to see the beautiful mountains, although at some point I felt really nauseous from the zigzagging of the bus. When we arrived, Andrew told me that instead of what he had planned, he would skip Guatemala and stay in Mexico for longer. So naturally, I was very excited about that. On the first morning, we did a walking tour, but because we weren't satisfied with it, we bailed in the middle and did our own. Amazingly enough, we got lost in the same spots where the tour would have gone to. San Cristobal was beyond beautiful. The only downside was that it got freezing at night and you actually had to wear a pair of long pants, a hoodie and some connies to stay warm. During our stay, we went on a tour to see Mayan villages. But the tour wasn't quite what we expected. So we are doing a tour and mm -hmm. it turns out that it's not the backpacker no. tour. Yeah, we've got uh, yeah. some lovely people to share the tour with. Yeah, you can come up to that. Yeah, so us and 40-year-old yeah, yeah. Mexican <laughs> ladies. It's like a hat convention. <laughs> Where's your hat? <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to have to find something. <laughs> During the tour, we got to see how the Mayans made clothes that were sold in most Yucatan markets. We were also shown how tacos were made and got to try them, just fresh out of the pan. We saw the most amazing Mayan church. Unfortunately, we were not able to film or take photos inside, but the floors were covered in hay and the church was literally filled with candles. Each family had a little space for them to do their ceremonies in, and we noticed that families were offering a lot of sodas for the dead. We saw a lot of Pepsi bottles, but no Coca-Cola. That night, before catching our night bus, we were doing some pretty un-Mexican stuff. Okay, okay. So, the items on our agenda for tonight, for is, our nighttime adventure. Is very Mexican. Um, We're gonna go see an ice hockey match that Canada is playing, because what's better than ice hockey and beer? Nothing. Absolutely. But just to give it some Mexican flair, we're gonna gorge ourselves on street tacos and tequila as well. Because so. I'm cold, so I need a tequila shot. It's really cold here. It's like uh, in the midst of mountains, this town. So it gets really cold at night, like plus 17. She wants an excuse to drink. <laughs> but things didn't go according to plan. No ice hockey today because we are in Mexico and they play live music in the bar. So we returned to our hostel, but as it was cold, I decided to make us a little warmer. Whoa, whoa. Take care. Hola. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. GoPro, you become my best friend as of Shut late. Up. Okay. <laughs> so a beer and three tequila shots later, which we do not feel at all. What tequila? We, well, watch out, watch out, watch out. We are walking towards the bus station. But I guess we'll get some beers because, yeah. Keep the flow coming. Comment it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pee myself so. Keep the momentum going, is what she means. And she's not going to pee herself, as she might have suggested. Oh my god. Okay. Turns out you can't drink on a Mexican bus. Luckily, I was in the bus bathroom to avoid this super awkward situation when the cleaner and the security guard interrogated poor Andrew, who barely spoke any Spanish, as to why he had a couple beers on him. 